Scott appropriate memories. <laughs> <laughs> Turns to me and goes, Mr. Lang, you're an artifact. That's your nickname. So, so I got to <laughs> Come on up, Larry. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Mr. Stark, Task Scoutmaster for 730. And uh, thank you, John, for the opportunity for me to say a few words. Uh, I first met Rod. On that bloody night in, in <laughs> the River, I was sitting right next to him, and and he was in the sling light. He went to get up and fell back, and blood was, and it became a nice first aid project. <laughs> and I was, I didn't really know who he was. It was like, whose grandfather is this? <laughs> <laughs> And uh, I really got to know him in 2012 when uh, we spent, I spent two weeks at Filmwalk in the same crew with, with Mr. Lang and Mr. Johnson. And uh, I was just learning backpacking. And this was a great opportunity to learn from these two gentlemen. And I watched, I watched how they, they handled, worked with the crew, how they dealt with, with adversity and and I came away from that just thinking man when I grow up I want to be Mr. Lang. <laughs> <laughs> this is really cool. He, 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 uh, he was always a, a source of encouragement and uh, when I had an opportunity to uh, to become Scoutmaster uh, I did it with knowing that, that I had broad support and I could always come to him for advice. He was always a great sense of advice. He's, and it, it's, it's just been wonderful. He's, you don't run across too many individuals that, that are so giving and are such a great resource to, to not just the troop or an individual, but the whole community. Uh, Rod gives so much time to the scouts. Uh, his wife taught one of our, our kids in preschool, Ellie. Uh, Cameron was our, one of our favorite chefs at New Orleans Bistro. <laughs> and it's just like wherever you turn around, there's, there's Langs touching it. <laughs> and I was really looking forward to see Cameron becoming a, a, one of our scout masters. I, it sounds like that may not happen, but uh, it's been wonderful uh, knowing you. I, I'm, I have to oh, say, yeah, I don't know. It. I, 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 I'm sorry to hear you leaving, and that's the selfish part of me. But I know they're going to change. They're going. There's going to be troops out in the Midwest that are going to benefit from you and your family. And uh, just thank you for being you, and you've touched a lot of people, and you made a lot of difference. And you guys. If you can grow up and, and be a Mr. Lang, that would be a wonderful thing. That would make you all successful. Right. Thank, Thank you. you.
service to our troop. You have been a wonderful mentor. We are going to miss you terribly, but we wish you well. Thank you. And if things change, you're welcome to come back. <laughs> So your highest achieved rank was, was Eagle, yes. uh, which uh, you know, you've, you've upheld the, uh, uh, the values of, I think, admirably. So uh, it's something that, again, you guys need to get yourself there, because then you get one of these. <laughs> uh, 55 years of service. You've had five leadership positions. The highest leadership position held was Scoutmaster. I'm not sure how we ranked that one, but uh, you know. You know <laughs> You've done 69 hours of uh, service and community hours. Now, now, bear in mind, this is only what you can actually pull out of the computer. So it doesn't go the full 55 years back. This is what we've got from staring at records and trying to do stuff. That's five years, by the way. That's graduated records, so that's how long it's But during that time, we still managed to, to log 1,172 hours of backpacking and hiking. I mean, a thousand miles plus of backpacking. <laughs> Uh, 55 miles paddle, 215 nights camped. So, you know, of that five years, solid six months of it has uh, been sleeping in the dirt. 34 out of 8, 17. You know, it's, it's a whole bunch of numbers. It really doesn't uh, kind of reflect, one, all the information, and two, just how much you've meant to the troop. So, I want to give you this so you can go hang somewhere. Uh, feel free to tip X, you know, white out some of the bits, and write the real numbers in there. But uh, thank you very much for, uh, for everything you've done. Perfect. Uh, and, uh, pictures, you know? Paparazzi? <laughs> thank you. That's gorgeous. So uh, next, I think it's, it's only appropriate. We've got a bunch of young folks here. We had one good question out of it. We've got to have some more questions. You have a font of all knowledge when it comes to scouting. Does anybody have any questions? You think, you know, I've always wondered about anything in scouting. What did Bing Pub look like? What did he do? He did enjoy a wee dram in the evenings. Baby friend. <laughs> Go for it, Bing. Uh, what was your, what would you say is your favorite long-term memory or takeaway? Well, we talked about, you know, film on with my son and everything like that. But the other one would probably be, it's going to sound really goofy, but the first long term where I fell in that creek and I really got my baptism, so to speak. <laughs> and just Mr. Diddick just shaking his head and just calling me a big knucklehead and numbskull. And like that. Yeah, that was an enjoyable moment. <laughs> Next question. Anybody? Anything else? How many long terms have you been on? Okay, so we got four fill months. We got. Um, Green River trip, the American River trip. Um, we did Dead Man's Canyon, Cameron, you and I. We did Mammoth Lake Loops. How many is that, 10? Catalina? Catalina, I don't know. Catalina. I don't know, 10, I guess, 10 or 11. <laughs> That's all? That's <laughs> all. <laughs> I have to travel other places sometimes. <laughs> Just that one trip in, in 1963 when we did Yosemite. Because in 1964 we went to the National Jamboree. Right. So. I have a question. Go ahead. Do you have any regrets? Oh, no. No? Yeah. What would be regretful? Except for that one individual. <laughs> <laughs> Go for a palm or two. Okay. Because when I 
got my eagle, then I went off into explorers. So I didn't really probably staying with my original tree a little longer. If you could relive one moment in your fifty-five uh, plus uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Sorry. in your fifty-five years of scouting, what would it be? Relive a moment? One moment. Again, I go back to stuff I did with my son in mean, Top of Mount Baldy or when we did our first long term, you know, there was, when he got his eagle. That was that's a good moment also. So that was a great uh, great time. Mm -hmm. Hi Marshall. What was your eagle project? Good question. In 1964, you did not have to do an eagle project. All you needed to do was what? earn 21 merit badges. And have the leadership. <laughs> so are you gonna do one? Are you gonna do one now? Or? Where's, Mr. Where's Mr. Johnson? When you got your eagle, you have to do a project, right? Yes. So it changed like somewhere in 1965, 1966, somewhere. But I've worked on enough eagle projects. <laughs> <laughs> For sure. Um, fingerprinting. <laughs> it was easy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Scott Rama. So, what we have to do? Well, that's what you might want to use. Thank you. So. For fire starting, we used actual flint and steel. So we had to do that. And then we also had the bow, you know, with the spindle and the bow. So what we would do is before a camporee or a scotorama, you'd get like an old cotton shirt and you'd charcoal it. So when you got a spark off your flint and steel or a spark developed through the friction and everything like that, it'd drop on that carbonized cotton then you blow on it to get your flame and everything like that. So that's how we did. That was my favorite event. Fire my fire started. What was your least favorite marriage? Least favorite? Probably least favorite. Honestly. What's what what's the best piece of advice that you could give? to a scout or all of us that you've learned over this years of scouting? Patience. Mm. Patience and perseverance. Very good. So, you know, you may get frustrated, but you know, you gotta persevere, so just kinda put it behind you. And, uh, you know, like doing sheep camp or climbing up Baldy Mountain or two at a time with a Busted pair of boots or something like that. You just gotta go with it. Kevin, did you have one? I did. How many merit badges did you earn? I don't know. Twenty-one. That's why I said I should have gone for a pop or two. But Brody, what do you reckon? Um, what was the least amount of people in the troop when you were in the troop? The amount of scouts. This troop? Mm -hmm. uh, what do you think, Cameron? Right in the mid twenties, maybe thirty something. We always had at least four patrols, three to four patrols plus leadership, so. So they never got about 20. Yeah, so maybe in the 30s, somewhere, in the same time. Yeah. So times change. Um, what, uh, of the things that we've, we've gotten rid of or we don't do anymore, what, which one of those would you most like to bring back if we could? Skill or activity or whatever. <laughs> uh, you know, a lot of the skills, I'm thinking that, you know, the camp where you first day, uh, knot tying, cherry, and that kind of stuff. I don't know, bring back fire starting with flint and steel or doing the boats or something like that. Something a little more out, outdoorish, you know, frontierish, kind of like what they had 
and Dane Powell's Day, right? Okay, or so Scotland. Suspect, <laughs> we should probably, we could be here all night, so uh, we are going to have cake and time for questions. All these great questions you guys have got, I'm sure it'll be around you can come up and ask the rest of them. A couple things, yeah, we're uh, almost there. So, 34. Yes. In 1964. Correct. Okay, we got that right. We got you an Eagle Scout, uh, once an Eagle, always an Eagle, challenge point. Oh my gosh. And I don't think your house is in, is your house in escrow right now? Yes. Oh, you have to carry this with you every time you come back. So okay. So if you don't have it with you. I think all the bottles? No. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, <laughs> shooting stars? <laughs> well, I'm going to drink with us because all the oh, carry it. So you got to just go challenge point. There's something else we got for it. Um, you know, the one thing that's, that's great about Mr. Lang is he's done all this before. He did it all before with his boy. And he's great with the younger scouts. He's even greater with the adults because we'll come to him excited about an activity that we'll do for our first time with our boy or the boys. And he'll be just as excited instead of saying, well, we did it. I've done that four times already. You know, he's just excited when we go to sheep camp for the eighth time as he were. So we appreciate that. Um, we asked you for a little homework assignment uh, to give us some of your favorite outings. And what we did was we made you we got a picture oh, of your favorite outings here. Oh, thank you. And uh, Mammoth Lakes, yeah. Cameron Eagle is up there. Uh, Dead Man's Canyon, this is his favorite memories of scouting, I should say. Sheep Camp, oddly enough. Joshua Tree. <laughs> Joshua Tree, Cali the Long Term, and of course, Phil Mott. And it's got your name on the backpack here. And your initials here and the initials on the uh, nail jean. All right. And uh, as well as your uh, seven shirt. So, uh, oh, that's beautiful. We thank you. You don't have to keep coming all these years. And we really, really appreciate it. Like Mr. Uh, uh, like Larry said, you're always here for questions. You're a humble man. And your action speaks louder than words. And we are just going to miss you tremendously. Well, thank you. And when you came up and uh, told John and I a few weeks ago that you were going to be gone, just uh, <laughs> and we just stood there, we, we, were, we were breathless. So um, we hope that this, uh, you hang this up in your house. Oh yeah, over the back. Wherever you're at, right over the front. <laughs> <laughs> remember, remember, <laughs> <laughs>